617, time now for business news, and we're going to say good morning to a man who still remembers the name of his school bus driver. We just chatted about that. You remember, Mike. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It was Willie, Winnie, Winnie Melanson and Cliff Smith. Wow. That's the a... two bus drivers that we had. All right. That's a good memory. Bell Mill, Pub, Bell Mill Public School back in the <laughs> 1970s. Oh, oh, yes. Wow. They good memory. Drove through, they... They, drew, they drove through some weather back then. They I'll did it. They and, did and, of course, we had to walk. Uphill both ways to school through blinding snow. Five kilometers snow. each way. Yeah. I Five know. kilometers I each know. way. We know the story. We know the story for sure. <laughs> All right, Mike, uh, on to the markets now. That winning streak that we've yes. been seeing so far this year, unfortunately, coming to an end. A, a reality check, Tammy. Good morning. Um, the markets uh, had their pretty much their worst day of uh, 2023 so far Wednesday. As uh, look, the economy is slowing, and we had some data points showing that out of the U.S. with retail spending down by more than 1% for December. And you'd think that December would be when retail spending would be going up, but not so much because of inflation and rising interest rates. And then you've got, oh, the fun of the U.S. government and uh, uh, Congress at uh, loggerheads related to uh, whether or not they have to actually raise the debt ceiling, which they have done 72 times over multiple decades. But right now it stands at $31.4 trillion. And the Republicans now in charge of Congress don't want to borrow any more money they're, they're going to be forced into it because they've already borrowed this money and have to pay the debt and the interest on it. So uh, there's a, a big political showdown underway in Washington once again. And uh, last time we actually saw this, 2011, which led to a downgrade on the U.S. credit rating for the first time ever by Standard & Poor's, led to an all uh, big mess at the uh, that time. Of course, everything's recovered since. So we'll get through this. But in the short term, uh, choppy trading days ahead, perhaps. All right. Uh, choppy uh, airspace for Sunwing once again, especially when it comes to Saskatchewan. They're making cuts again. Yeah, and this is a, a, a focal point for, for regulators. And, uh, uh, you know, why is Sunwing specifically hitting Western Canada? They obviously went through the mess of the uh, winter travel chaos over Christmas, but they're adjusting their flight schedule, and it seems like they're taking it out on Saskatchewan for some reason. Uh, so that's going to uh, likely raise some eyebrows at the Transportation Committee in Ottawa, which is you know, still going over what went wrong with uh, Canadian transport over the past little while. Another interesting story about, um, you know, maybe why the airlines are having some difficulty staffing up right now. There was a pilot's shortage before uh, the outbreak of COVID-19 and a number of uh, pilots either retired or left the industry. And now, you know, there's so many new uh, uh, startup airlines. Uh, you got your Flair, your Lynx and others and uh, Porter's expanding. And uh, so there's a pilot shortage. So it's a little bit of a, uh, you know, a perfect storm, if you will, in the labor ranks for these airlines trying to keep on schedule. Okay, and uh, speaking of having a good memory, you know, with your school bus driver and you walking to school <laughs> back and forth uh, yes. in, uh, you know, 10 feet of snow, did you walk to Zeller's during uh, that time at all? No, but I did go to Woolworth's. Oh, yes, that was, pr when. That was prior to Zeller's, was, right? Well, Zeller's Woolworth, has actually been around Towers, since... Well, Zeller's, Zeller's has been around since 1930, I think, uh, originally formed in London, oh. uh, founded in London. Oh. But uh, nevertheless... Yeah, it's, it's a nostalgia play here for the Hudson's Bay Company, which is bringing back uh, 25 Zeller's stores. But they're actually going to be in Hudson's Bay uh, stores that are currently in existence because the HBC actually doesn't need as much floor space, perhaps, as it once, once did. So there's going to be one at Scarborough Town uh, opening um, in the springtime. Nothing in downtown Toronto, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, Tammy, but having said that, uh, the Queen Street uh, location for the HBC at the Eaton Center, uh, it, it, that whole area is kind of under construction right now, so maybe that's why they're not uh, uh, focusing on that quite yet. But there's going to be an e-commerce site. Uh, no discussions about a restaurant or anything of that nature, which is a disappointment because that seemed to be, in the lead-up to all of this, all of the excitement about the restaurant and sellers, among other things. And and it's going to be interesting to see what what you know kind of traction this actually has other than the uh, nostalgia factor and the initial enthusiasm and interest that this will create when it first opens. That restaurant had the best breakfast. It was so good. Well, this is the thing. It was you know, the, the kind of the, the, the greasy spoon, the yeah. off the grill kind of idea. And that was you know a selling card for all of these things. And then, uh, yeah, kind of went by the wayside. All right. Well, popping up soon in the spring. We'll take a look at that yep. uh, when it opens. Thanks so much, Mike. We'll chat with you tomorrow. Thank you.